reason uh, why I traveled to Botswana and Swaziland and all that in the first place. Yeah, yeah, when you appeared, your scooter appeared. That's funny. Well, so if we look at the map, all right, you can see where we where we came came down and out. Um, where we are currently, we can actually head down the road, cross through the swamp, and continue along the river, or we can uh, go back the other direction. So, going back the other direction, there's Fever Tree Forest, of course. You can see where there's kind of a little trail that runs down towards the river, and there's an eye there. That's yeah. that's where we that's where we went, where that cabin was. Okay. Yeah. Um, as we head over to the east, it gets a lot higher um, and stuff. So, if you want, we can just continue west down the river, or we can we can go back and, and look off east, up up in the central areas where it's much more grassy and stuff. But as we head farther east, it gets higher and higher and higher. And there's actually some interesting stuff over there. There's jackals and some other stuff too. Okay. What do you what would you suggest? Just out of well, why don't, why don't we just keep right on going down this road for okay. peace and, and see what we see? All right. It gets a little dicey down towards the bottom here as we get through, go through the wet spots, but I did check that footage to see what I hit, and I couldn't see a thing. Yeah, yeah, you get some some weirdness. That's just kind of the way it is. But you want to take your little easy down through here. Oh yeah. Up here at the top of the hill, but I don't recall for sure. Yeah, yeah. Here. The Izangoma are the traditional healers of South Africa. The uh, Izangoma work with the spirits of the ancestors and the Inyanga work with herbs and the spirits of the ancestors. So, but, cool. so this is the San Gomez hut. Don't know if you wanted to take a look in there or not. Sure, I'll take a look. But the uh, Idolozi are the ancestral spirits. And sometimes an Idolozi of a real bad person becomes an local so just to kind of kind of link it to do you get XP for this too or just yeah oh, okay yeah I'll definitely I'm the Galani's healing hut so yeah that would that's in the single player campaign you learn that that this person was a lady and she was a Sangoma and may have been an old flim your grandpa's <laughs> but then like I say this leads into some real mountainous stuff okay. over here in some of the some of the vistas are are pretty awesome, so that's why I thought maybe going this way see some some interesting stuff. Lots and lots of animals crawling in as we come through. Yeah, I've been hearing some calls, but this this time of day really isn't all that great, except for down by by the river and in the mud flats. So. I figured what the heck. Yeah. Take take a trot up here, see some more interesting country, and uh, we're not too much longer, and we'll be through the heat of the day, and the animals will start moving again. So down here to our right again, we've got a really really good mud flat, and it comes down and crosses in front of us. I've got a warthog running right alongside of me. Yep, there he goes. Might want to dismount and see if you can hit him. Well, oh no, oh. it's a wildebeest. 
Oh, is it? Yeah, sure it is. Yep. <laughs> Where'd <Woo> he go? <laughs> there goes your ATV. He, uh... Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, he... Went into the brush up on this side. That's alright. It's kind of cool, though. Jeez. Down at the bottom of the hill. Whole herd. Whole herd. Whole herd. That's what that thundering is. No. I don't think... Don't think I got the shot. Me either. It's like as soon as I got out, they... Disappeared. Well, there's still plenty of them. We can hear them. Matter of fact, they may be coming from behind us. There they go. Running right past me. Damn it. <laughs> now you know why we talk about a herd of thundering wildebeest. Mm-hmm. I don't think I hit him. He took a quick zigzag just as I fired, so. Yeah. I think he split my shot. I'm gonna step down here and see. But that was that That's was amazing. That was awesome. Cool. You can see why Mufasa got killed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I watched out for the Mihoko. Apparently. Don't like me much. on this curve you can slam right around and roll right over <laughs> I did that first time I came through here in the ATV whoa there I go whoa, right. whoa. yeah there's something weird about this oh, 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 ow. particular <laughs> spot yeah where where for some reason you just really skid a lot but you can see what I'm talking about there yeah Well, that was weird. What? When you went up that hill, you were floating for a brief moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You gotta kind of watch yourself here a little bit. Yeah. It's the trail gets a little hard to spot, and it can be a little, a little frisky on this little downhill slope here. Yeah, and I keep picking up too much speed, and I'm almost tail hitting you in the rear there. It gets, gets a little iffy through here, but then the trail picks back up. Whoa! What? <laughs> you didn't see that, I guess. Nope. You literally jumped about three or four feet into the air and hovered for a minute, and then you landed. Oh. <laughs> I caught nope, it. Didn't on my end. Caught it on video. Looked pretty cool. Alright. Well, this is the area I wanted to get to here. Looks like a beach. Should be coming up on another uh, little hut here somewhere. There it is, yep, up in the distance. Here's another little camp. 
Oh good, so we'll go. spawn here if something happens to us. Yeah, yeah. Alright, this time pull up next to me, not over me. <laughs> Hack likes to run me over. <laughs> we'll call it professional jealousy. <laughs> Make sure you walk up to the pool and claim it. Got it. There we go. Good, I'd hate that to come all the way back from the other place. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, you know, that's pretty much what I've been focused on between last night and tonight is going around and trying to get some of the camps unlocked so you can, if you come in and, you know, play single player, you can jump around to the various locations. Can you fast but, travel between, between yeah. them? Or? Oh, yeah, cool. You, yep, you can fast travel between the camps. Gotcha. From here, it can get a little on the squirrely side. You can actually uh, uh, get up into the really high stuff. Um, in Wupaleriambu. Uh, or you can um, continue along the, the river here, and it'll eventually get back on the, on the heavy roads again. Hmm. But. Oh, wow. I would never would have seen this. <laughs> There's something up there calling ahead of you. Yep. But we're in jackal territory now. Ah. How many species are in this map? I'm not sure what all the species are. There is quite a selection though. But here we go. This is what I thought your viewers might enjoy seeing. Oh that's that looks like a face. Yep. So what, what we'll do is we'll just pull up over here at this marker. Take a real easy right here so you don't roll over. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah, it can get a little squirrely. And make sure we park a fair distance apart so we don't slingshot each other off the edge. <laughs> yeah, really. These ACVs are ridiculous. Alright. There we go. So this will get you another marker, and then... Oh, that's creepy looking. Oh. Weeping face. Yep. Tufa waterfall among the tallest in the world. How do I explain Tufa? It's a type of rock formation formed by mineral deposits left behind as the water flows and the face weeps. Tears create the face. In this case, in this case, we get quite a few tourists flocking to see this. Uh, I'm sure they do. Now, if you come on over to the edge here, there's actually a great big cave across on the other side of this pond. It's a little hard to see over there, but you can actually go down there, go into that cave, and come out on the other side and look out over a uh, vista of the, of the valley out there. But I thought, you know, might as well come up this way so you can see the face it is pretty cool i mean i mean if you want to circle around and go through the cave quick we can certainly do that it's up to you yeah it's, that's fine we can do it again yeah um right in this area is part of a, a quest that you have during the single player part so you certainly end up back here again if you end up doing the single player okay but i thought before we face the peril of, of the rest of this climb up the hill. Might as well see see an interesting sight before we die. <laughs> before we die. Well, this this gets a little harrowing here. <clears throat> so 
So from here, it's gonna get real steep and real winding. All right. So just so you are forewarned, here we go. We're ready. And we're gonna get another fire battle. Yep, this is the part I don't like right here. It's a real sharp turn to the right. So take it real easy. And when we get up to the top, the road splits, and um, in one direction there's a suspension bridge, and then in the other direction it continues up and around. Um, and I didn't know if you wanted to run that suspension bridge or not. I mean, it's it's perfectly safe and it's wide enough to take the ATVs on. Yeah, let's take the bridge. Whoa. But that's quite a view. Now, when you get there's some parts up here that for some reason you end up like right down oh. almost in first person view, and it can be a little. I don't know about anybody else, but it kind of freaks the hell out of me when it does that. Whoa. And then you get kind of. Witchy here. I don't know what it is. But yeah, I just got spun around a little bit. Yep. That's what I said. This, this can be a little bit harrowing. You get up here, it swings around to the right again. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's finally, you know, shallow enough that you can kind of pulse your way instead of having to have it floored. Yeah. Alright, we're almost coming up to where the divide is here. Okay. There we go. So here's the suspension bridge. So when I get up here, I'm just going to put to a stop. Okay. Just your forewarn. Alright. So like I say, it, it splits here and you can either continue up the mountain to the left or you can cross the suspension bridge. I think uh, this would be a fun place to dismount and just kind of get a look at this amazing vista up here. Jeez. And a nice thunderstorm to make it more interesting. Yeah. But Lord. We're a good ways up. Sure as hell are. Damn. Yeah, and there's more caves back back there. If you look, yeah, past the suspension bridge, there's the canyon kind of eventually caves back there. Can you? But land from it? here, uh, if you know what, I haven't tried. I haven't tried. From here, it ends up actually longer to take the suspension bridge because the roads kind of swings back and forth mm. so if we go across the suspension bridge basically it takes a big long loop around and then connects back and if we just turn left here we cut off that loop okay that's fine so it's a matter of whether you want the the ride or you know for the vista or, or you just want to get on back where we're going it is completely up to you i'm i'm good either way doesn't matter to me, honestly. The most scenic route would be the most interesting, I think. But I am going to go out on this bridge. Jeez. Yeah, the first time I come across here, I was I was powerful nervous. But from here, you can see straight back into that cave, and you can see there's really not a way to get down to it that I can see anyway, at no. least not if you intend on getting back up again. <laughs> yeah, those cliffs look pretty sheer. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, yeah. well, what the heck, you only live once, or twice, or three times, depending on which game you're playing. <laughs> but, um, might as, well, might as well cross the suspension bridge and take the sign throw. Yeah. Because there's really not much in the way of hunting now until uh, just before sundown. Yeah, it's cool as we get, everything gets shiny wet. <laughs> yep. As it rains. 
it's just I, I think they did a beautiful job on on the scenery and you know with hunting having slowed down for the day um, figured might as well come this way like I say give people something to look at just put our way across actually once you get on the bridge it doesn't seem all that intimidating it's really nice fit you know yeah what's weird is you just zipped across Yep. There we go, I'm clear. Whoa. Just watch the cables when you get to the other side, they'll spin you. Alrighty. Alright, we made it. Not quite so bad from here, it's fairly level. Not much game up here. A lot of scrub hair and um, occasional warthog, but I haven't seen much of anything else up here. Like I say, this takes a big loop around and then reconnects to the trail we do picked up if we did have gone left. Right. But it is a gorgeous map. Probably a hair. And it just launched me. <laughs> That's why I made sure I was facing away from the cliff. Ah, I go. see. Look out. Yeah. Scarpment. Yep. Got a quarter. <laughs> well, that's the real shame is that the binoculars don't function. I, I saw that the first time. I got all excited. Yeah. And it didn't work. Damn. But that is quite a view. Yeah, I was thinking you could get up here and just take a look around. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, they used to have these up on the top of the Pochade Tower, tallest building in Minneapolis. You could go up there and look out yep. around the city of Minneapolis like that. That's quite the thunder. Quiet a ways up. But somebody come out and go, get figured, off those picnic yeah, tables. <laughs> might like to might like to see that, so. Yeah, definitely. And Aaron Rain's gonna mellow up, which is nice. Back on our possessed mobiles here. But now, as it dries up, you'll see, you know, it looks a lot less like snow. Yeah. Alright. And we go to the right. But here we've reconnected where we'd have gotten if we'd have come up the mountain the other way. Gotcha. Now we can open her up. Mm. 
you're slinging mud. <laughs> There's Yo. some hut. Yep. Is this a camp? Oh, it's a camp. Yep. And this is a dead end here. We actually have to go back the other way to to continue along, but this is this dead ends right here to a to another camp. And the more camps you unlock, the better. So. Oh heck yeah. Cool. Yep. Fast travel in facilities available. Oh. This one looks a little fancier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one this one is a little nicer. That looks a little wet. I know, that's why I was sitting there thinking. <laughs> Alright, so we can we can uh, rest until morning here if we want to. Basically you get the the rest icon on the bed and you hit right. E and you'll get a clock that you can set it to whatever time you want to rest to. Right. Um, the maker 6.15. You're able to do that? Yeah. I can't do it. Alright. Now you should be able to. <clears throat> nope. I think you had to do it. Oh, okay. Well, maybe, maybe I guess maybe in multiplayer we can't use the rest function. That's too bad. Because we did just push through to the morning, but... Yeah, it's not giving me an interact or anything. Yeah. Check and see. Yeah. I just... I'm at... If check here your hunter mate. I think you'll see it's 6.16 in the morning. <laughs> well, that's weird. Yeah. Sun's coming okay. up. All right, so it does it does work for both of us. All right, fantastic. Just didn't show that I laid down or anything. Yeah. Now, if you uh, come over here and you look straight across, you'll see that there's a observation post. I see it. Like right straight out there. You should be able to pull up your binoculars and spot it over there. Oh yeah. That's where we're. If we head over there, it'll give us uh, markers in this area if we climb up there. Okay. If you don't want to deal with it, we can just, you know, head head out. But no, that's fine. I just thought I'd, I'd point it out to you. 